Hello everybody, what is up and welcome to Ready Meal Reviews. Now today is going to be a little bit of a quick one, it's not a true ready meal, but it is something that you can eat instantly without having to cook it or prepare it or anything like that. And it is a corn vegetarian steak slice. So obviously this has got fake steak in it. And I thought this is going to be so quick to eat, the review is probably only going to last about a minute something like that so I've added a couple of other bits because they were all on offer we are also going to be trying and um, obviously we're not going to be having these as the service and suggestion serving serving suggestion states we have got smoky ham free slices and we have got chicken free slices now these two are vegan this is just vegetarian so I thought I'll do this and then we'll quickly just try a couple of slices of these and see how close to chicken and how close to ham they really are. So let's get on with the vegetarian steak slice. So we're going to open it up. You can heat it in the oven by the way but I like to eat my pastry based goods cold. And actually on the face of it it looks like just a normal steak slice. It looks delicious, to be honest. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That was a big mouthful. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. It's got the same peppery taste that you get from a Ginster's. I don't know if there's any actual steak in there. You can see the kind of texture of the inside of it. I'll just bite a bit more off and we'll get a better look inside. Now you'll notice it's quite full. Before you say it looks disgusting, bite into a Ginster's one, it looks just as bad as this. But it seems to be proper chunks of corn steak style pieces. I must admit, whenever you have a Ginster's or not necessarily a Ginster's, but any other sort of meat based steak slice, especially cheap ones, you will find that although it's called a steak slice, you don't get much actual steak in it. It's mostly gravy, bit of like onion or something, and then you'll have a few little measly little gristly bits of mince, and there might be something slightly bigger. But I mean, even so, you know, sort of a bit of like steak is about that big. This has got proper big pieces of steak. I'll try and see if I can pick one bit out. Okay, there you go. There's a bit of steak. I'll put it up. Bugger. I'll try and get another bit. So there's a piece there. So you get an idea of how big the chunks of steak are, or the chunks of corn based steak fakeness is. That's quite a big piece, and there's multiple pieces like that in there. So actually, in terms of sort of like a meaty tasting pastry dish, it's really satisfying because you feel like you're getting a lot of like your meat, albeit fake meat. It's great and it's just delicious. I mean, don't get me wrong, it doesn't taste like meat as such, but it's a good substitute. Look at the texture and the stringiness to it. It's not far off. So, um, yeah, absolutely delicious. I'm going to eat just this little bit here before it all falls on the floor. We're going to put that to the side. And we're going to break open these. So... First off, we're going to do the smoky ham free. Now, let's have a bit of a sniff. Mm. I can't quite work out what it is. It does kind of taste like it's been packed in a sort of hermetically sealed factory. But then so does most normal ham that you buy, like Bernard Matthews sort of like, you know, wafer thin ham. It always smells weird out of the packet. It never smells appetising. Let's grab a slice. It's not quite as thick as wafer thin ham, but it's all right, it's thin enough. Colour's a bit dubious, but I think that's the smokiness. Hmm. There's a hint of smokiness there. I'll have another slice. And there's a hint of hamminess, but it's not, it doesn't taste like smoked ham. What it actually tastes like is, it kind of tastes like luncheon meat. 
or hazlet or something like that like a really cheap cut of meat where it's all mixed up together it's not an actual sort of thinly sliced piece from like a actual joint of an animal as it were you know an actual sort of just a sort of slither of um, meat from the steak as it were it tastes like lots of cheap bits of meat flung together put in a processing machine and plaque together into like a giant sausagey thing much like lunch of meat or hazlet as i've just said or the little teddy bear things or like a te- i suppose technically a salami because that's all just like little pieces of meat clumped together into a sausage it's got that kind of flavor to it it's not disgusting it's just to me I would have called it smoky vegetarian luncheon meat or something like that. I think that would have been a more apt name for it. Still, it's tasty enough. And to be fair, if you gave someone a sandwich and didn't tell them what was in it, they just said, oh, can I have a sandwich? And go, I've got luncheon meat or something. And you put that in it, they wouldn't know. So that's fine. That's all right. I'd have that again. Now we're going for the chicken. How does the chicken taste? I should have done the chicken first because the smoky flavour is hanging around in my mouth a little bit. So again, looks like chicken. I mean, to be fair, if you put that on a plate, you probably wouldn't know immediately that that was not real chicken. I mean, obviously, it looks like processed chicken slices, but then that's the kind of market they're going for. Again, I forgot to do the sniff test. Yeah, still smells weird. Uh, Let's taste it. Mmm. Very sweet. Very sweet. And very kind of, not crunchy, but it doesn't... It's hard to describe. It's got the kind of sort of texture that you get. You know when you have a potato or a chip? You're having chips and you haven't quite cooked them long enough and they've got that slight little crunch to them where they're underdone. It's got that kind of sort of feel to it. It feels like it's kind of underdone, but it doesn't... I wouldn't say it's actually crunchy, but it has got a bit of a texture to it. I'll have another slice. When it first touches your tongue, there is a chi- hint of chicken that's there. It does taste a bit like chicken, but as you eat through it, you get another flavour through. And I can't put my finger on it, but it just tastes odd. It's not horrible and disgusting, and I think if you had a sandwich with a bit of mayonnaise, which would obviously defeat the object of it being vegan, but if you had a sandwich with a bit of mayonnaise or something like that, or maybe a mayonnaise vegan alternative, um, and a bit of salad, I'm sure it would be delicious. But on its own, it's a little bit odd taste something about it that i don't quite like but it's good enough you know i mean if you really need to be vegetarian you really want some chicken free slices or slices that resemble a bit chicken you could do a lot worse than that so at the end of it that is me that is uh, and this bloody delicious anyway hopefully that is enough for you today sorry it's been a short one we will get back to it very soon um thank you very much for watching and uh, i'll see you next time Bye for now.